What's up guys, Matt the Riffmaster here. Uh, so today we're going to be having a little bit of fun, something quite interesting, uh, an idea I thought of uh, a couple nights ago. Um, so for this we're going to need some coffee and a massive roll of sellotape. Now the coffee's not that needed for the video, it's just always good to have coffee on hand. Wakes it up a little bit. So you may be wondering, why do we need a huge, huge, strangely, massively massive roll of sellotape. Well, let me explain. So, for the past couple of nights I've been watching these guys on YouTube called the Dudesons. Uh, I don't know if any of you have heard of them. They're a bunch of guys from Finland, stunt people. They just do crazy stuff all the time. They're quite, quite funny. Um, and there's one guy called Yarpi, and he lost a thumb on one of his hands, um, which was quite interesting. Uh, so they all did a challenge where they taped their thumbs to the inside of their hands so they were completely out of use uh, to see what it would be like to do things without having your thumbs because they, they do play quite a big part in daily things so to take them away it must be quite strange so what I thought I'd do today is because there's loads of musicians out there that deal with this kind of issue that guitar player who's got no arms he plays with his feet that's amazing hats off to you uh, so th what I thought I would do today is I'm going to try, I'm going to tape my thumb on my left hand to the inside of my hand and I'm going to try and play the guitar and see how it feels without having the stability of having my thumb, you know, wrapped around the neck to see how it would feel. Uh, I don't know how it's going to go, it might go horribly wrong, it might be fairly simple, I have no idea. But we're going to try it out and see what happens. Okay, so here we go. Now the challenge of finding the end of the sellotape. What do you guys call this where you come from? We call it sellotape, but is it called anything different where you're from? Let me know in the comments, that'd be cool. And if if you do, what do you ever have the trouble of trying to find the end of it? It's impossible. Ugh. All right, I think I got it, I got it. Okay, here we go. So, thumb. Oh my god. <coughs> Maybe a bit more. <coughs> oh yeah, there we go. Let's just completely get it out of the way. Ah. <laughs> this is going to be horrible. But I don't want to... Okay, right. Ow! This is gonna suck taking this off. <laughs> okay, there you go. That, that's how I'm left. So let's grab a guitar and see what we can do. Okay guys, so we've got the guitar and straight away, even trying to handle the guitar is very, very uncomfortable. It's weird not being able to just wrap your thumb around the back of the neck. Uh, but I'm not sure how it's gonna play out, so let's, let's give it a go and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so it's a little bit strange. Uh, for power chord kind of stuff, it's it's all right. It's it doesn't seem that much of a problem. Um, it I feel it does affect sort of getting that stability when you're holding the power chord. 
Uh, it feels really weird not being able to grip the back of the neck. Uh, but when it comes to like bending and things like that, I think that's when it's an issue because you don't have your thumb holding around the neck to give you that stability of it. So it's a bit. So it, it feels a little bit weak and a. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of strange, it's uncomfortable because obviously I've never had that before, I've never tried it before. But I think, you know, you might get used to it if that was the case. Uh, but yeah, it's not, not, it's it's weird. I think if you practiced it and sort of got used to it, it would become a lot easier. But it's definitely very, very strange going from complete access playing with the thumb around the neck to not being able to do that it's very 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 weird okay so just for fun i wonder what it would be like if we got rid of the use of this thumb because your thumb on your picking hand is quite a huge you know vital part of your playing so it's kind of, it might be interesting to see what happens so let's just try that out i don't know how i'm going to do this i'm not sure if ways to hold the pick that doesn't involve your thumb I wouldn't recommend doing this, it hurts. Okay, so now we take away the use of this thumb. Um, I, don't, I don't even know how I'm gonna hold the pick. Uh, okay, let's give it a go. Okay, so um, I can't use my thumb to hold the pick. I guess it just leaves trying to work something out with my fingers. Ah, oh, no. So let's try between these two. Okay, that one was, um, I think if you grip it between these two fingers, doing open, single note, open string stuff might be okay, as long as you can get like a tight enough grip like that, I don't know, it's, but I think when it comes to needing to be palm muting, it was a bit tricky, because it's such, such an awkward angle, it feels super weird not having your thumbs. Um, but yeah, you know, it's this kind of thing that some people live with. And like I said, hats off to you. And if, you know, well, anyone that has that kind of problem, you know. And then, like, you know, musicians, being able to play music when you have something like that is uh, very, very cool. So yes, hats off to you. Um, it's not easy. Ow! <coughs> so there you go, guys. Uh, I wanted to give it a go, see what it would be like. Um, it was not easy, it's so strange, like I said, going from having complete access, you know, having your thumb there for that stability and all access here, it's, it's so weird when that's taken away and, you know, just, it's crazy, fair, fair play to people that can do it though, it's, it is very cool. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you, you enjoyed it, it was fun, maybe give it a go yourself, see how you get on. Uh, it's very, very strange, just very, very strange, and it hurts taking the tape off. So thanks guys, I hope you have an awesome day, uh, take care of yourselves, be awesome, rock out, make some noise, I'll see you very soon. See ya!